You know, for well, Golden Generation, this doesn't feel very good, does it? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jet TV. I'm J Lab and this is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge with Sienna. And not the best of intakes, honestly. The only one that really tickles my fancy in terms of potential ability is Gregorio Fari Marina or Marini. I don't know if the last two names will be the same with the first part with we with, with on the shirt. I'm kind of hoping it's just the Last one, Marini, because that would be easy to say, like Barbini. But, despite that, he's actually got some decent ability to him in terms of overall attributes. Nothing below 5, or nothing 5 or below, unless it's a flare, which honestly we don't care that much about, unless we want to be playmaker, which he's not going to be. Ball winning the field, anyone? Not the best, I know, but... Check markings 9, tackling 11, work rates 11, teamwork 16, position is 8, concentration is 9... Bravey, Entertainment is 8, Aggression is 15, Agility 8, Pace 8, Stamina 14, Strength 9. So, while he's not the best, he could be pretty decent at the time. And maybe he can make, even make him a winger, I don't know. He's got some decent ability to that, but I'm not going to hold my hand out and hope for the best, because, well, he, he doesn't have the best attributes in the world, does he? Either way, he's the one at the first of many, or the only one that really stands out in terms of potential ability, and he's the 14th in card ability right now, so... Yeah, not great. I mean, we've got Manuel Lanza, who could be a decent striker. Poacher, yes, but I do pressing force and attack, and he's not that great. So, yeah, agility, balance, and concentration we need to work on. I don't want to use anything else other than that, unless we go for back to our old formation with deep line forward. Which again, balance is a bit lacking in some areas as his vision and advanced forward. He needs to work on his agility and balance. So, yeah, a few things we need to work on him. Gianluca Tataglia, he can be a ball winning midfielder. I could make him a central midfielder if that's the case. Right footed, he can work well on that side. He's also a central defender and central defender on the stopper. I think he can be a central defender on. Defend, but composure being free is a bit concerning. Again, something to look into. And even a right winger, a right fullback, I should say, could make him that. Is he great at it? No. But composure, again, composure is the thing I'm concerned about with this guy. And that's the main issue I have of him. Christian Conte, another midfielder. Deep line playmaker, apparently. Could be a vast playmaker, but his flair is two, his agility is four. Yeah, he's, he's not great, is he? In that some areas. I don't know what to do with him. If I was ever to do anything with this guy. Okay, one more, two more players. We've got a Moroccan in, uh, youngster for the first time. Winger. He could be made a natural winger on support. So, yeah, he's got potential. Is he great? No. But he's got flair of 13. A technique of 12. Crossing of 9. Dribbling of 9. First touch of 8. Passing of 8. Anticipation. Yes, it's only 6. But acceleration... Agility and pace, pretty good as well. He could be very good as a winger, though. We need to give a lot of work to this guy to make him as good as I feel he could be. Especially with Brazoni already good enough to be matching what he's potentially able to do. And the last player I'm talking about is Atoy Barrison. And yeah, Atoy Barrison doesn't have the best potential. Low determination too. I don't have a lot of hope with this guy. But then again, most players on this side, he could apparently be better than most players on the, on the fullback. So... That's not really saying a lot, is it? Let's be honest. But yeah, I'm actually going to do something that I... I'm going to be honest, I should have done this a while ago, but I'm going to show you why I'm going to do this. Expenditure. We're going to look at this, and we're going to highlight just the youth setup. I'm going to de downgrade a few things, because 900000 for like last year are going to be that, around that sort of price again this year. I'm actually going to go to the board and request that they be decreased. And the same with youth recruitment, because they're the two things that really cost us, really hurt us. And if I'm going to check, it might have already been done. No, not done yet. But they're both excellent. Ever since I've made them excellent, it's been hurting us financially. And I need to do this to save money, to stop us from having issues, you know. 
it is a major major concern and quite frankly i am very very concerned about how this is going you know definitely needs to be something we need to work on and to tinker i'm also going to go through the games we've had since we last met and we'll see what we can talk about from there shall we so after our draw against Samuel and Nessie, we took on Perugia and I was concerned we we're going to lose this game, but no, we won. Cantoro scored his second goal in two matches and I was shocked. Two minutes in, it was a good start for us. And then this goal comes in after Fantosi finds Bondi and Bondi just goes in and cuts inside and scores again. He's very good. Very, very good. A lot of love for the guy who uh, I think is currently injured right now. I don't think he is actually, but... He's turning out to be a very good player. And that's despite the fact his concentration isn't great. He's only got three concentration, but you know, honestly, for what he's done for us, doesn't feel like he needs it. And if we ever go back to the inverted winger position, inverted winger roles, he can be very good. Very, very good. Yes, if I was to make it a pressing forward, he wouldn't be the best because his concentration being free, but. Given what he's done in that last game, as well as other things before, he's been very good. And Couture is also getting better as better as well. So, some very talented young players we have in our disposal now. Excited to say the least. We then went to San Bernardeste and we drew this game. But that's not before we conceded the opening goal of the game. We got very lucky. I feel that we got this point. I didn't feel like we were at our best and... Pellegrino gets the ball in to Verzone and it's one all 78 minutes in. We definitely didn't deserve this. I think we were very lucky not to have lost. They actually tell you the entire story, as does the map that they had more shots than us as well. So yeah, average rating, we were worse than they were. Shots on goal, we were worse than they were. Shots on target, we were worse than they were. XG, worse than they were. So yeah. We definitely were not at our best and we were very lucky to have gotten a point from this game. And that's all I'm going to say in the matter. Our front two, absolutely woeful today. We then went ahead and took on the Chester Libertes and we drew 0-0. Now, I don't know if I'm upset by this. Yes, I could probably say I should be upset with the fact that we had more chances, better XG. But we got a point against a team that I think beat us early in the season two or we drew against. So, this team's also up in the playoffs. So, I'm not 100% upset. I just... We should took our chances. Nobody really had a bad game apart from Contouro, so it wasn't as if we were terrible either. Their team were not as good as ours on the day, and we just... If it wasn't for the fact that their goalkeeper had to make as many saves as he did, i say that uh, we only had four shots on the target, so that was our issue. We had more shots on the target, or more clinical, we would win this game. That's 100% what I'm going to go with here. We then took on Sincena, and I was honestly thinking we are going to go into this game and lose. So to get a 2-2 draw after we'd gone 1-0 down inside the first segment of the game from Brozo was a nice situation to be in. We did get an equaliser after Scabato gets his head to that, and Keeper makes a mistake, we take advantage of it. And the best part is, we took the lead again. We took the lead for the first time after we found ourselves with Scabato getting the end of that long ball from DPSC to make it 2-1. Unfortunately, we can see the goal from this free kick in the 91st minute of the game. Tortilla gets his head to it. Sanelli should have done better. If we had held on, we would have gotten all three points against the center, a team that we need to beat in the future. XG-wise, yeah, they were better, but their, oh, their first goal was that good of a chance that they would be stupid to have missed. But even without that, they would have still had a better XG anyway. Even without the second goal, second chance, they would have had a better XG. We just didn't take our chances that we did have. And like I said, we took our chances. We just didn't defend well enough against corners or free kicks. So, something to work on. What I wasn't expecting was to go to Modena and to win 3-0. Scabata plays this across to find Fofano for his first goal of the season. And I was being good. But then they get, we get a penalty, 2-0, 75 minutes in, for Fanny for his second, and then it's 3-0 in the 90th minute of the game. Scabato runs, and he runs, and he runs, and he shoots, and he scores. It's 3-0 against Modena, one of the bad teams in the division. We absolutely took the game to them, and we deserved the win. Even if we had, they had an issue of 1.45, our goalkeeper, Tortilli, was that good of a game for him. He just did that well, and any other game... I probably would have thought, yeah, it's not going to go away. 
thing was, the thing that happened was, Oliver got injured in the 70 minute of the game, and then Fofana came on, and, well, he scored twice. Not a bad way to, not a bad substitute at all, is he? And it wasn't even a, something we wanted to do either, so... Apparently, injuries can work in your favour sometimes. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. I don't know how he didn't win this game. I'm going to be completely honest. Even if their formation looks incredible, we should not be dropping points to Bra. I'm just going to say that here now. We should be beating Bra, and we should be beating them comfortably. The fact we didn't get a goal against them is kind of embarrassing. The fact we couldn't beat this team is definitely a terrible sign. And you're gonna and you notice there's a pattern here. We drew more games than we won in the last couple of games, but we didn't lose a single match. Where's this left us in the table? So despite the fact we've drawn about four or five times in the last seven or eight matches, we're in tenth place above a Perugia after we beat them 2-0. We lost to them 2-0 early in the season two, so it kind of makes up for it. We haven't lost in over ten matches now. We've gone ten games without a defeat, but we've drawn a lot of games since we've yeah yeah this is this is going badly we've only won twice in the last six matches so hmm, yeah take, take that as you will and yeah even twice in the last seven matches so yeah we've drawn against some teams i should we should not be drawn against either bra so man let's say those are teams we should be beating we actually drew against Modena too how have we done so well against Modena this season I, I would never know but either way we've scored 52 times and we've only conceded 30, so our goals conceded per game is now one per game. So that's a good sign, right? We've got ourselves against a game against Foligno next. I they're bottom of the table. We should be beating this team. I don't care if we have not won in the last three or so matches. We need to be beating this team comfortably. And considering we beat them four so something before, I'm gonna take off. Hmm, yeah, this is one of those games we need to be winning, and very much so. I say, how is it that we've got a decent partnership, but Contour has actually been really bad? I'm so confused by that. I mean, Barbini's also been a bit woeful in the last two matches too. And that's despite the fact we won one of them 3-0. I, I genuinely don't understand. But yeah, for Fanner's starts, because Oliver's still injured, he's out for seven days. I think it was... A twisted ankle, yeah, he's got a twisted ankle. So he got injured in that game. DBS is out for two to three weeks due to sports hernia, which is not ideal. Alioni's out for two to five weeks due to a torn handshake, which I think he had when we last met, so I can't quite remember. Uh, Martino also got injured. I don't know what he got injured with, actually. What was it? A, a pulled abdominal muscle, so that was not good. Uh, goalkeeper got injured as well. He's out for two days. And, uh, yeah... A few players have been in fitness tests, which is not great, but not the end of the world either. We're just going to hope we can win this game, and, well, I say hope, we should be winning this game. If we don't win this game, it's kind of embarrassing to not to be beating the bottom of the table team, but we've done stupider things at this point in time, unfortunately, and that is something I'm not happy and not proud to acknowledge. Can we win, please? Thank you. Okay, so we need to win because... And Senna being a bad team has actually caused us issues on the table. But here's Bondi. And we're 50 minutes in. We've not really seen any highlights so far. I'm, I'm a little concerned that we're going to do something stupid. And it's not something I like to acknowledge or admit. But it is something I have to think now. We get the ball back after Koluka gets it. Here's Bondi, who is very good at times this season. Play it back to Pozzoni. Cantuo. Bondi. Goal. Cantuo gets an assist. Thank God, he's not hopeless, but Bondi gets his ninth for the season. He's been pretty good this year. For a 17-year-old who I didn't think I would throw in the first thing this year, unless I actually had to, for a player that is only 17, he's done pretty well for himself. And nine goals, great season for him. Good side. Playing on the left and now the right. Was only with the throw, and not the best throw in the world, but Fofana doesn't try to get for that, but Contour gets instead. His Tanelli. Who's playing on the left is Fantosi. Here's our right to Barbini, who we know can do very well with deliveries now. He's not done the best there, and that's. Well, there's nobody really to, to get the ball back for them, is there? It's just they're hopelessly aiming it, lumping it forward with no aim or direction. We give the ball away needlessly there, and. I don't know. Sony, 
Otto Lanta. And there we go. Crystaletti goes for goal. It's side netting. But, hmm. Question marks about defending there. Really has to be raised a few times. Got a corner. They're not even bothering to go then a short. But there you go. Bondi can play it to middle to Brozzoni. Well, we should get down target. Got a long throw. That's Sanelli would do really well with. But Benny gets inside nicely. But Vanna, 2 0. Sometimes a kick at the back side is what they need. Told him not to be complacent. Told him to sub back up your ideas. And we get a goal. He's his third of the season. I don't know if he's ever got more than five goals in a year. But considering that at one point he was struggling to really get any form, the fact he's suddenly coming good now is a good sign. But then again, Oliver's been ahead of him too. So makes sense. He's struggled to get into the first team. Okay, they got a free kick. I'm a bit concerned by that. And Tortilli does well to take that comfortably. I wonder if I should have taken Barbini off now, but I don't know. A bit late to really can speak and say about that, but they get the ball back. It wasn't the best ball forward, was it? I kind of wanted to go for the pass of the wing to the fullbacks, but it doesn't work sometimes. And they fit the post, but it's offside, thankfully. But I've got to be concerned by this, because I generally think we need to do a lot better than what we've been showing there. And that is a major concern when that's a thing I literally have to think about. But what can you do? We've still got a 2-0 no win. It's better than nothing. We didn't lose and we didn't drop points. It's a good day. Even if at times we were a bit questionable in our performances. But there you go. We turned up in the second half a lot more than the first. We had seven shots to their one in the second half. And despite the fact that uh, our first half performance was a bit shaky, I feel, we still turned up in the second half. And that's a great formation. I just realized now. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's kind of like our old formation, isn't it? But yes, the win takes us up to ninth. We're actually below Perugia. Because of Senna, at one point being, well, the team that's beaten us once and drawn against us every time. So, yeah, that's, that concerns us a little bit. But, yeah, we've got a two-point gap over Senna now. Teremo are I've over six points behind, or four points behind Senna, So, we can get ourselves up the table. I like to think, and this is very ambitious, I know. I like to think that maybe fourth place is on the cards. We're only seven points off with seven games to go. So, while it's a bit ambitious to think we can do it, I mean, they just won their game today, for goodness sake. I like to think it's a possibility we can put it off. Whether or not it's realistic, I don't know. But I'd rather think that we can at least give it a try. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go with that. And they have downgraded both facilities. Okay. We agreed that the money can be spent in other areas of the team, therefore reducing the funding as with both. So both going down to good. I generally think that we needed to do it and it was an issue that we need to be concerned about. And Bond is also out for two to three days. So that's a thing. Let's look at the other results with four. Oh, we've taken on Livorno because that's a big game. I'm not going to take on that team because I don't want to take on that team, honestly. It's going to be an issue if we take them on. And here we go. Arizo 1-4. Four wide against Lachista Libertas. That's a big win for them. Carrera have won. They're the only teams to have scored a playoff play so far. And honestly, with with seven games to go, being 15 points clear, they are all, already the champions elect, let's be honest. If they don't win the title now, it's kind of embarrassing on their part. Fano draw against Pizzi by one goal to one. And Ravenna beats Semberdeste by a goal to nil. Yeah, I think that's a realistic target. Maybe, maybe not fourth place now, maybe fifth. The target we can go for, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a thought. We just want to get higher than eighth place. That's all I want to ask for at this point. I think we can do it since we're only five points behind Arizo. We do have to take on Arizo some point. So yeah, and we can take on the Vorno who are in fourth as well, followed by we've had, so we've got a lot of big teams actually coming up. We then got the team that we smashed for six. Ugly and they say then Gobio. This is a weird one. Gobio and Carese afterwards. I I think our rest is no. Fermana are the team after, so we'll be back for the Fermana game, I think, because at this point, unless something dramatic has happened, we should be looking. I say that. I say that, given that the teams we're taking on are 4th, 7th, 3rd, 19th, 17th, 1st, and 13th. Only three of those teams we should 100% be winning against, including Fermana, who we had issues with in the past. Carabese, we've had issues with. They beat us last time. With Venna, not 100% guaranteed that they would be bad because they've actually had a good season. Oizo, causes problems away from home. And Livorno, oh, 
we've had eight goals against them in quite a few games against, and we drew two two against them at our ground early in the year. So every time we played against them recently, and we really taken one win against them in twelve, that's not a guaranteed thing. Now I just realised maybe come back for the Caressa. I don't know. But yeah, we'll be back at some point. I don't know when, but we're gonna look at this and say maybe something to look forward to. Either way, I. Hope you guys have actually enjoyed yourselves, hope you guys like and share this video, and that you will subscribe to my channel, it really does help me a lot. So anyway, until next time, goodbye, and well, good night.